Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we're gonna to be doing art. <laughs> so more specifically, we're gonna be doing our first art lesson of the year. I waited a little bit because our art kind of coincides with our history, so I needed to wait a few weeks until they lined up before we could really start our lessons. And it's that time, we finally, we finally hit that, that section in both of them where this is going to be kind of almost an expansion of their history lesson. So I have two different art units from Yellow Spot Sun today, and we're gonna be going through both of them. And both of my kids are gonna be doing different arts just because they're in different areas of history. My oldest is in American history, so he's gonna be doing the American history units. And my youngest is doing European history and Christian history, so he's going to be doing the Impressionist unit again. And we did the Impressionist unit a couple years ago, and we're gonna revisit it this year. And I think it's gonna line up really, really nice with his history. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually printing out the booklets so you can see. There's my coffee cup. So I've linked the art units that we're using down below in the description box. Now just a little note on these units. These units are actually taught online. So these are online art lessons and you print out the PDF books. And it's almost like teaching textbooks but with a live instructor. And we've been using Marissa's Yellow Spot Sun lessons for several years now and I really, really like it. She is able to give something more than what you would get if you just order an art book because she's actually teaching the lesson. She's giving you a history lesson on the artist and she's really expanding upon different things. And she has enrichment activities throughout the entire unit, whatever unit you buy. So even if the unit isn't like a full 36 weeks, let's say, she has different ideas in there to kind of stretch this out and lengthen it so you can get more out of it. So I really like that about her art lessons and that's one of the reasons why we use her. Just so you can see, cause these are printing out now. So if you hear my printer in the background, I apologize. But she adds in all of these really neat paintings and, um, and things to talk about with your child. And she has different points inside of each lesson for discussions and things like that. So there is much more than just them doing the physical art. You're learning about all kinds of things that, that go around it. I'm using my Epson printer. I have an Epson Eco Tank, and while the pictures take a little bit longer to print out, this, this thing is a beast and it has handled so much. We've had it for a year and we're still not even halfway through the ink and I have printed so many of these booklets. I've printed all kinds of different unit studies and things that have heavy pictures in them and it's still going strong. It's still not even halfway through the ink. So if you want more information on the Epson printer that I have, I will also hopefully remember to link that down below so you guys can go check that out. I just bought it on Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna let these finish printing. I'm gonna have the kids start their other subjects and then Thursdays and Fridays, which today is a Thursday, Thursdays and Fridays are kind of more relaxed in our homeschool. So we always do art at the end of the week because we have more time to really focus on those expansion projects without having other subjects get in the way or feeling rushed through them. So that's where we're at now. And then later today, when they're done with history, we'll jump into art for both of them. But because they're computer lessons, I'll probably have them doing either using two different computers or they will be taking turns because they're not doing the same art lesson this year. So that's okay. But this is how I'm working it out. And I gotta make sure that we have everything, which I think we have all of our art stuff today. So I just gotta go get those supplies and get them ready and get them on the table. About a dime size amount of paint. You don't need too much. 
got our red. Yellow. And blue. And we'll save the white for later. The white is really just to help the purple look more like purple. And I'll show you why when we get there. So let's move these out of the way. Let's see my examples. See, I've got most of the area filled in. If you leave white space in between, it's going to turn out a lot lighter. And that's fine too, that's not a big deal, but do you notice that we're not taking this cotton swab and doing this? That's not how we're painting. We're simply going up and down, up and down. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, and I'm just gonna show you how to do this one. It's pretty quick. So real quickly, if you would like to know the history units that we're using to go along with our art, or vice versa, the art that goes with our history, we are using generations for both kids. So we have generations, America, God's Providence, and that is for my 10th grader. And this is a one or two year unit, depending on how you're using it. We are doing the one year cycle with this one. And so far this one has been such a great unit we really really like this curriculum and then for my sixth grader we are using taking europe for jesus by uh, by generations again and this one also is such a beautiful textbook and we are really impressed with it and this one focuses on christian history within europe and this one is a great one for your middle school kids so with these two we have the trailblazing unit that goes with this one and then we're using the impressionist unit to go with taking Europe for Jesus. And do the background. Okay now the background we have a horizon line that kind of cuts across the top part of our canoe. Okay and then we have all of this like brush land or scrub land or trees or grass whatever you want to call it so we don't have to be too accurate because when we start coloring it then you'll get some idea of what all the different shades and all the different shapes in there. So very lightly sketch your horizon line. Now, if it's easier for you to draw straight across, you can just do it very lightly so that you can erase where it cuts across on your canoe. Otherwise, you can draw your line, right? Stop, pick up your pencil. You can cut across, pick up your pencil. You get your pencil again. It does not have to be perfect. We're just getting the idea. And then for our grassland or scrubland or brush, I'm just going to go make, give me some sort of idea where I'm going to end up coloring that. that's all I have for this video. I hope you had fun doing art with us today. Remember, if you have any questions or want more information on these art lessons, they are linked down below in the description box for you. I will see you in the next video and as always, happy homeschooling.